All right, from Scottsdale, Arizona, put your hands together for Mr. Jim Waldron. Yeah. So Jim's got two minutes to hit eight balls, so this isn't going to take long. The clock is on. I got three minutes. You got three minutes to hit eight balls. And he's hitting his baby driver for right now. So there's a little chip shot about 3.30 in the middle of the fairway. See, that's why I threaten to fire him all the time. Because it makes me it just hate that. Youth is so wasted on the young. You know? It just pisses me off. If you guys watch it, practice swing, I'm hitting, I just hit a cut right off of those three little trees right there. So Jimbo, yeah, so the... the you know, we're, we're talking about strategy with the driver setting up the tee shot, right? If you guys notice, it's very subtle, but I, I'm picking an intermediate target right here, guys. As I stand behind, I'm looking through a blurry shaft, and right in between the ball and those trees, I'm looking at a spot like right here, a little patch of grass right here. And I'm setting the face square to that first, and then I set my stance and opened up a little bit to hit a little fade. Now, if I was trying to draw it, I would aim the face slightly more to the right. But what do they, most of these folks kind of set up to hit a little fade. You guys actually do set up to hit fades because one, we talked about the ball position being forward in the shoulders here. So I'm going to go through this routine. I'm going to hit a draw off of the, the power pole to the right over there. So now I'm going to set the face to the right first. So I'm going to start it to the right and try you, to draw it. Are you going to go over the trees a little bit? Yeah. It'll okay. Start. So now I'm doing kind of draw feel. So where's his practice swing, guys? Back behind the ball, right? Now I don't mean. I mean this is this is an ugly display of youth and power. So I apologize for doing this to you. Okay. So Jim started it more to the right. So a draw ball. Guess what? We want to start it more to the right. Okay. Now just for funsies, we just smash four and just shut up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have an advantage. If my lessons go to crap, I just mash balls. <laughs> so, this is where, it, you know, his, you saw his golf swing was quite organized, and it still has a ton of speed because he's a big, strong kid, and he's got a lovely golf swing, okay? This is just sheer mayhem about to happen here. So, that right there is so good. That was actually that was really smoked. Like, people don't go that far on vacation. Okay? I mean... So it doesn't matter if I smoked one or hit one way right. I got eight balls. I'm going to come back and go through the same routine. I always step up from behind the ball. I'm going to try to mash another hive. Another fader? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so I got a good one in the grid, so now I can go after it. Yeah. And so... Jim, you know, Jim's taking on the shape of the hole, isn't he? Right? He's starting a ball. And, and so, honestly, you guys, you know, we're mortals. Our speed isn't, you know, this is ridiculous. Okay? He swings at 20 miles an hour faster than Dustin Johnson or Rory McIlroy or any of those guys that are amazing. Okay? Okay. Right? And so... You know, so, what, the, something that goes that far should have a flight attendant on it, right? <laughs> so I've got a line for every ball. No, I'm kidding. But you notice how I'm always walking in from behind it. I might not do a full practice swing, but I'm definitely picking my target for where I want it to start from behind the ball. I'm walking in. Great routine. I'm looking there. I set the face first. I do a long waggle to feel, self, to feel somewhat centered here. Oh, that, was really good. that was good. So that one, so that would be a frustrating one there, because he absolutely smoked it, That's called right? A line hugger. And it's that one's a little, a little off the grid. Hard. So when you guys watch the World Long Drive events on the Golf Channel, you know, make sure you, you know, look at, look for Big Jim, because he'll be there. He'll be at the World Championship again this year with any luck, right? And a couple good balls. Try to draw one here. So let's see the draw pattern, That's big guys. See if you catch one. Get Andrew looking back on him, on, on what's going on there. He'll say, Hung may hit one off the tee. No, guys, so that's a great point. My feet before I hit there. You guys see me statically here, looking. Let's do another one. Now pay pay attention to his feet. You're playing it way off your left toe. I mean, you got it far forward in your stance. You know, he he is playing it forward, but again, he's also got the you know. 
A young guy, he's got the ability to side bend himself, okay? As we get a little older, we lose that ability. And to, <laughs> you're, you're hitting well. But so watch the feet, watch the body work here, you guys. So, okay, watch the footwork. Press, 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 right? Step, step, step. And so take a look at this. Okay. Right. So that, that, that one was a, that was a bit spinny. That was a bit spinny. Anyway, this is not depressing. It's kind of depressing a little bit. Okay. So you guys, we're going to have a little fun hitting some drivers. Okay. Now, obviously that's, that's not immortal right there. That's crazy. You know, I, I wish you'd have played golf as a kid. So he had a little bit more of the like nuancey stuff of, of scoring. He's a good player. Just some of the pieces, you know, but those like some, he's going to kill somebody on that ninth tee right there. Now we didn't bring you all out here to watch Jim hit drivers. We brought you out here to hit you hit drivers. Okay. So do me a favor. Okay. So step back. Let's kind of get some heel, get, get some leg swings going. Cause we just had lunch. Great demo, Jim. Attaboy. That was awesome. Thank you, buddy.